Are you looking for a memory card that is fully compatible with your GoPro and works well with 4K footage? In this video I will cover the top 3 high speed memory cards compatible with any GoPro camera from the most affordable ones to the more professional SD cards. Plus you will learn about different SD card sizes and how to choose the ideal size based on your shooting needs. The memory cards that I've reviewed in this video are also suggested by GoPro itself and I've tested that they work pretty well with most GoPro camera models. Hey, I'm Andy, filmmaker and creator of Project GoPro, an online video making school specialized on helping people making better videos uh, using action cameras like GoPro. I've also left a link down in the description to download my free GoPro settings cheat sheet that has already helped thousands of GoPro creators learn how to set up the GoPro before every shooting. Go and check it out. First off, what kind of memory card do you need for your GoPro? Before buying any SD card, make sure that it you know, it works, it's compatible with your camera or with your GoPro. These are the type of SD cards that your GoPro camera requires. You'll need a micro SD card, which is the small version of the SD. You can also get a pack like this, which has, you know, the SD adapter, but in your camera, in your GoPro, you need to have a micro SD like, like, like this. Next, the speed has to be a class 10, at least class 10 or UHS-1. The recommended capacity is between 32 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes. You can also use 250 gigabytes on the latest GoPros, but don't go above that because you know it's not recommended by GoPro. So uh, anything above 250 gigabytes might not work with GoPros. Why do you need a high speed SD card? When you max out the specs, the video setting specs like 4K at 60 FPS on your GoPro camera or even like 1080p at 240 FPS or other demanding settings, your GoPro camera will likely use the H.256 codec, codec instead of H.264 codec and writes videos on your memory SD cards at a really high rate. This usually requires a fast micro SD card known as UHS-1 or V30. With a write speed, that means it has a write speed of 30 megabits per second. Slower micro SD card categories like less than class 10 or below won't work with demanding video settings on your GoPro. Sounds a bit confusing? This chart can help you figure out what speed class you need for each video format on your GoPro. So after testing many of the memory cards recommended by GoPro, I've listed the top three that work best with any GoPro camera model. These memory cards are fast, so at least V30 category, and reliable and cost effective. Number one, SanDisk Extreme. SanDisk is the mother of SD cards. This model in specific is my top choice of SD cards to use with any of my GoPro cameras. It's compatible with every GoPro model and is fast and affordable. The Extreme UHS-1 microSD card provides amazing write speeds up to 90 megabit per second and read speeds up to 160 megabits per second. It's actually this card, I've got it here. I hope you can see it if the camera can focus. The SanDisk Extreme, this is a 64 gigabyte model but it comes on different sizes from 32 or also 60 gigabytes up to 400 gigabytes. This memory card lets you easily record high quality footage and you know even shoot bar burst mode pictures with your GoPro because it's fast and reliable. I've never had any issues and I always found it you know to be reliable and you can find it if you want to buy it you can find it in the link down in the description, check it out. Number two, Samsung Evo Select. So this is the card that I'm actually talking about. Despite it being really cost effective, the 32 gigabytes, for example, uh, comes under $10, it's really cheap. The Evo Select is fast and reliable. 
the Samsung Evo Select microSD card offers pretty good read speeds up to 100 megabits per second and write speeds up to 90 megabits per second. It performs really well even when recording with the most demanding video settings on any GoPro Hero camera. Probably for this reason, this card has become one of the best selling micro SD cards on Amazon. You can find the link down below in the description if you want to buy it. Here I've got the 120 gigabyte version. I just bought it recently because I needed a, an extra SD card for my GoPro. And I've used this card for a while before and I find it pretty reliable and it works really well with GoPro. GoPro official websites also suggest this, uh, this card for your GoPro. Number 3. Lexer Professional 1000X. This model is suggested by GoPro, which assures full compatibility with every camera edition. It's a two-bus system called UHS-2, which makes this card fast in the load, reaching read speeds up to 150 megabits per second. Among the three cards, this is the fastest card. This micro SD card by Lexer provides an equally impressive write speeds up to 90 megabits per second. Therefore, it's great for shooting 4K videos and burst photos with any GoPro, including the GoPro Max. Amazon was actually running a good discount last time I checked. That's why I got a brand new SD card, the Lexer Professional 1000X. This is a 64 gigabyte models. And if you want to buy it, you can find the link down in the description. How long can you record with your SD card? Recording times depend by the camera video settings and the card size. This chart shows you the recording time with ProTune on and maxed out video settings. There is no Hero 9 in this chart, but it should have similar recording times as Hero 8. So basically, if you only have a 64 gigabytes micro SD card, like this one, um, and you film in 4K, then you can only shoot for about an hour and 15 minutes at high bitrate. This gives you a rough idea what SD card size you would need. I would suggest you to get at least uh, 64 gigabytes, if not 128, to have you know that peace of mind that you won't run out of space every time. GoPro Max. While this table shows you the shooting time for a GoPro Max. For simplicity, we assume that the following recording times on a GoPro Max are calculated on a SD card of 64 gigabytes at different video settings. Pro tip, by setting a lower resolution of frame rate, your video files will be smaller and as a result, your recording times will increase, allowing you to get more footage in one SD card. And the best way to estimate GoPro recording times is by checking it on the camera's display with an empty micro SD card inserted. The camera will display the recording time when it's set on video mode and, and you are not filming. Lastly, I, I, I would advise you not to get SD cards higher than 250 gigabytes as mentioned before, because some of the GoPro cameras will struggle to to function it with these huge size SD cards. If you want to learn more about SD cards for GoPro, make sure to check out the article on my blog, you find the link down in the description, or visit the GoPro's official website. I really hope that you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And don't forget, before you go, don't forget to download the GoPro cheat sheet down in the description. Stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!